Here's a Space 1999 fact for you. Bring uh, it on. Newcomers to Space 1999 who have enjoyed all 24 episodes of the first season have traditionally been rather flummoxed when starting the second season and been <laughs> confronted by what it, uh, to a certain extent, is a vastly different series from the one they were used to. Mm. Uh, we've, mm-hmm. come, we've come across this many, many times, and uh, there are very yes. few people who favour Series 2 over 1, but there we go. Um, but they're out there. They, they absolutely. They there. Uh, viewers yeah. of Year 2 may have many questions, but the main question uh, after uh, what the flipping flip has happened here, uh, you know, <laughs> change flipping flip for whatever expletives you wish, uh, is... Where did Victor Bergman disappear to? Yes. Now, I love yes, Victor absolutely. in Series 1, so yes, yes, I was one of those people asking that very same mm. question. Now, it's well documented that the show was drastically overhauled for its second season under the stewardship of new American producer Fred Freiberger, known as the uh, series killer, I believe, by many. Oh, uh, not by me. Oh, um, right. uh, anyway, Fred uh, decided to change many familiar elements and characters, uh, dropping them, in fact, including <laughs> Paul Morrow and Tanya Alexander, mm. and uh, David Carno, mm-hmm. uh, just got rid of them. Uh, but yeah. what you may not know is that Barry Morse and Victor Bergman were initially not among the casualties. Oh. The plan was originally to keep him around for the second season because everyone loves Victor Bergman, don't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the cast and crew loved Barry Morse. I bet he was a lovely man. Uh, sad yeah. not to have met him actually yeah. um, everyone loved him that is except for Fred Freiberger oh. who wasn't a big fan of the character and felt that the show's professor character should be a 23 year old kitty with a beard right it's an interesting idea isn't it that old Freiberger magic yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he tried. Uh, yeah. This was part of his approach to overhauling the characters for the second year. Um, we've got to make them more dynamic without mm. necessarily explaining what that actually meant. Yeah. Anyway, before the second season had ever even been announced to the press, negotiations were being carried out between the Space 1999 production office and Barry Morse's agent over a couple of weeks in December 1975. But unfortunately, as is probably obvious if you've seen it, the second season had a significantly lower budget than the first. Yes. Which is a bit tough. Um, yes. We have to be fair and say that since the first season was reported to be the most expensive production ever seen on television up to that point, the second season probably still had a budget that was absolutely dwarfed, that would have absolutely dwarfed most other shows at the time. Yes, true. Uh, it's just It was just no longer as big as it had been. Hmm. The terms initially put to Morse's agent would have seen him take a more, more than a one-third pay cut. Ouch. Oh. And also lose his transport to and from Pinewood Studios. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Barry understandably rejected that offer, then made a counter-proposal of his own that was also rejected by the production office. Everything then went very, very quiet for about a week as Barry tried and failed to contact Dad directly. Mm. Until finally he phoned his agent to tell them to accept the original offer. Ah. But then was simply told, other plans have been made. Oh. And that was that. Oh. Victor Bergman was no more. Curses. Oh, sad, isn't it? Yeah. Um, regardless, two scripts for the upcoming second season would still mention Bergman, but unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, those mentions would be cut before they could be filmed. Mm. The first mention was in the season premiere of The Metamorph, in which Tony uh, lamented the fact that Victor had suffocated in a faulty spacesuit. Nice. Oh. Uh, and the second was in Catacombs of the Moon, in which Helen Russell and Ben Vincent were trying to repair the late Victor's heart to be donated to Pamela Stevenson, obviously. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he had, had a mechanical heart in the story, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So, 1999 fans, what would you have preferred... Having Victor disappear without explanation between seasons as we got, or the initial plan of explaining that he died between seasons. I mean, it's pretty miserable Mm. and pretty rubbish either way, but at least what we got leaves a little bit of hope that he might have been alive and well somewhere else. Maybe he disappeared and went off to live on a different planet. Maybe he got stranded there and was happy. You know, there's some lovely ideas you could have had. Uh, That's got me thinking, yeah. Mm. Now, we're not sure what the other plans have been made thing referred to, other than... um, well, uh, this stupid Victor's far too old for our hip, edgy, youthful, dynamic new Chickens. series. I yeah. know, come on, rubbish. Mm. Uh, and uh, it is kind of hard to imagine Victor fitting into the world of Space 1999 Year 2. Mm. But I do think we missed something in not having some kind of meeting between Victor and Maya. 
Uh, I mean, oh. Barry and Catherine Schell had worked together on a previous ITC action show, The Adventurer, oh and my. had a really lovely rapport. But sadly, we'd never get to see the meeting of Moonbase Alpha's two great scientific minds. What a shame. Yeah. Yes, it's true. So there you go. Mm. Victor Bowen wasn't meant to be axed and wasn't meant to disappear without explanation. It's just how things went, unfortunately. Well, um, but uh, Barry himself did have an explanation for Victor's disappearance. Right. That uh, he'd fallen off the back of the moon. <laughs> right. Okay. As you do. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I well, could have come up with a better thing than that, couldn't he? S- come something on. slightly more dramatic would have been nice, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> well, Postman, what do you think happened to Victor Bergman between seasons? Do you, uh, you know, if you had to put an explanation there, would you have preferred a, a death, a disappearance, yeah. something mysterious or otherwise? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Podcast at jerryanderson.com for emails. Oh, do let us know. Gosh. Yeah, what a shame. I, I, and actually, it, it, one of the most popular characters, surely. Understandably. He, he'd be the one you would want to see back for a second yeah. series. Well, I always say that he, to me, is the Doctor Who of Space 1999. Yes. And it's just right. a lovely, reassuring presence and yeah. so characterful. Yeah. 